this is Taki Potro and today I'm going to, well today I'm standing in front of a target range in Minecraft and basically I found that if you have logs that if logs if they uh, when placed sideways have rings and you can use these rings to construct a one block target sort of so here's a so I made a shooting range so you can just have a bow and arrow aim and get as close to the center as possible and yeah I also made a few moving targets over here so I can move so I also designed a minecart target range, though it's considerably harder to shoot these targets. Okay. Since the crosshairs don't actually aim where the arrow is going to go, and also you have to have velocity. Okay. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. I also made a different version where the cart only goes back and forth, which is still hard to play, as you can see. Crosshairs aren't the crosshairs are where aren't where the arrows end up. And I also have a clock, and this is a piston rotator similar to. And I got the idea from one of Ethos videos when uh when he was making his trivia game rotator. I'm not sure if this worked. I'm not, I'm not sure if this is working. The best it can, but basically it's just a clock. So when I turn it on, it rotates the logs and you can fire at them. But as you can see, it's moving on this. The only problem about these logs is that you can't actually keep count of the arrows. So, for example, this one you don't even know where it went once it moves. So, anyways, so. Over here, I have constructed sort of a mine, uh, minecart track for target shooting. So if we go forward, I missed, and, and there goes our minecart. Going to try again, and we're going to try again because I shot my minecart. And as you can see, I have a piston here that pushed away the detector rail. So this is almost all automatic, but except for this last part because I couldn't figure out how I would make it. So uh, I guess I will show you the redstone for some of them. So now. over here, I just have a clock, and I think it, I don't know. It's either eight or four. I don't know how people refer to them. But each of these have a delay uh, with the piston, so when one piston moves, it pushes the row of blocks, and then another moves, and I think I did it wrong because it's not working, so I'm pretty sure I did it wrong. And anyways, so for the track over here, uh, these open up when the detector rail is hit, and Basically, there's redstone under this block, and it activates this sticky piston, which under it is a redstone block, and there's also space. So when this it extends it, and since this is being powered by the redstone block, this comes down, which has the target inside. And same with the rest of them. And over here was the same idea, except it would uh, make all these blocks come down. So. Uh, when it hits the detector rail, all of these pistons come down. So over here, uh, wire. So basically, this redstone block comes over here, and it inverts the signal. So it comes to these pistons, and what are yeah, these sticky pistons? And on the other side, there's redstone blocks, and they uh, when they're pushed, these pistons aren't powered, so they come down. Feeling 
targets like ores and all those regular targets and also there's some dirt somewhere I think over there. Anyway, so once that happens, uh, but when it's also when it's activated, there's also a, it also activates this, which is a delayed signal, and it eventually comes out over here. And after I think it was eight ticks or eight three, I don't know. It comes to a sticky piston, which pushes the detector rail over and destroys the signal, which makes these go back up. But they don't really go back up. And I don't think I built any of this correctly, so... Well, the redstone, but anyways. That was just an interesting thing I did with arrows and turned them into target. Anyways, bye. Uh... Hello, this is Tataki Poke Show, and today we're going to make. Well, today I'm going to start over now.